Let's calculate the bilateral Laplace transform of the time domain signal cos omega naught t multiplied to ut. So in this case, our time domain signal ft is equal to cos omega naught t multiplied to unit step signal ut and we are interested in calculating the bilateral Laplace transform of this signal and let's say the bilateral Laplace transform is represented by fs and along with the calculation of fs we will also calculate the region of convergence this means we will calculate the region in which fs is finite so let's see how we can calculate fs and roc of cos omega naught t multiplied to ut and for this purpose we will focus on cos omega naught t first we know cos omega naught t is equal to 1 over 2 inside the bracket e power j omega naught t plus e power minus j omega naught t so in place of cos omega naught t we can write this and therefore our time domain signal ft is equal to 1 over 2 e power j omega naught t plus e power minus j omega naught t multiplied to unit step signal ut now in the next step i will move ut inside the bracket so this will give us ft equal to 1 over 2 inside the bracket e power j omega naught t multiplied to ut plus e power minus j omega naught t multiplied to ut so this is what we have and to obtain fs to obtain fs we will focus on the calculation of laplace transform of e power j omega naught t multiplied to ut and the calculation of laplace transform of e power minus j omega naught t multiplied to ut and it is very easy to calculate the two laplace transforms because we know the laplace transform of e power minus at when multiplied to ut is equal to 1 over s plus a and the region of convergence is sigma greater than minus a where minus a minus a is the real part of coefficient of t in the exponential so if you look at the time domain signal you will find the exponential is having the power minus a t and we are looking for the real part of coefficient of t so step number one is to find out the coefficient of t you can easily locate t in the power of exponential and this makes minus a as its coefficient and after that we will find out the real part of the coefficient but in our case the coefficient is already purely real there is no imaginary part in the coefficient it is purely real so we are having minus a and we will compare minus a with sigma or we can say the real part of the variable s and the sign we will have between real part of s and minus a sign either greater than or less than is dependent on the signal we are having here we are having ut which is right sided signal and whenever we have right sided signal we choose greater than sign so finally we have roc as real part of s greater than minus a this is the shortcut method to calculate the region of convergence and i have already explained this shortcut method in great detail this was just one revision of what we have discussed now we will focus on the calculation of laplace transform of this signal here and we will consider it as case number one in case number one we will assume this a here 
to be equal to minus j omega naught and we are assuming a as minus j omega naught because when you put a equal to minus j omega naught here you will find this signal is same as this signal and we know the Laplace transform of this signal so when you replace a by minus j omega naught in the Laplace transform of this signal you will find you are having the Laplace transform of this signal so let's quickly obtain the Laplace transform of e power j omega naught t ut. I am writing this signal by replacing a by minus j omega naught and in this scenario we will have the Laplace transform equal to 1 over s minus j omega naught. Now don't replace a by minus j omega naught in the region of convergence you will have a wrong region of convergence I will explain how we can calculate the correct region of convergence to calculate the region of convergence we will follow the same process I have explained which is the shortcut method we will look for the coefficient of t in the exponential we are having the signal e power j omega naught t multiplied to ut so the exponential is having the power j omega naught t and in the exponential the coefficient of t is j omega naught and we are looking for the coefficient of t and in the coefficient we are looking for real part of the coefficient but here the coefficient is purely imaginary there is no real part this means we are having 0 as the real part of the coefficient of t so we will compare sigma with 0 and as we are having ut we will have greater than sign so sigma is greater than 0 or we can write real part of s which is sigma greater than 0 so in this way we have calculated the Laplace transform and ROC of this signal and following the same process we will calculate the Laplace transform and the region of convergence of this signal so let's move to our case number 2 and in case number 2 we are trying to have this signal from this signal and for this we need to replace a by j omega naught so when you put a equal to j omega naught here you will find you are having this signal so the time domain signal we are having is e power minus j omega naught t multiplied to ut and to get the corresponding Laplace transform we need to replace this a by j omega naught and doing so we will have 1 over s plus j omega naught and like in previous case we are having the same region of convergence we are going to have ROC as sigma greater than 0 so we are having the same ROC and now we will obtain the final Laplace transform fs and we will use the property of linearity we know according to the linearity property when two time domain signals are added their corresponding Laplace transforms are also added so fs will be equal to the Laplace transform 1 over s minus j omega naught 1 over s minus j omega naught plus the Laplace transform 1 over s plus j omega naught 1 over s plus j omega naught and uh, you can notice one thing here after adding the two time domain signals we are dividing the result of addition by 2 or you can say we are multiplying the result of addition by 1 over 2 and as we are doing this in the time domain following the linearity property we have to do this in the frequency domain as well to obtain the correct Laplace transform so we will multiply by 1 over 2 now solving this we will have our Laplace transform so let's solve it quickly from here we will have s plus j omega naught plus s minus j omega naught in the numerator and in the denominator we will have s square minus j square 
omega naught square if you look at the terms j omega naught and minus j omega naught you will find they will cancel out so we are having 1 over 2 in the numerator we will have s plus s this means twice of s and in the denominator we will have s square plus omega naught square we can write plus omega naught square because j square is equal to minus 1 after this I will cancel this 2 and 2 here so finally we are getting the Laplace transform fs equal to s over s square plus omega naught square and this is very important Laplace transform and the region of convergence will be sigma greater than 0 because we are having the same region of convergence for the two Laplace transforms and now you will ask me is it important to multiply ut to cos omega naught t I will say yes because we are calculating the bilateral Laplace transform and if you won't multiply ut to cos omega naught t then in that scenario the Laplace transform will not exist I will prove it in one of the lectures and I will provide the link in the description so this is all for this lecture see you in the next one